How to examine a lame cow in eight steps. Step one, observe the cow walking to identify which leg is the cow lame in. If her head is down, check the hind limbs. If her head is up, check the forelimbs. Now you've identified which leg is lame, let's find out why. Step two, does the lame leg look swollen and obviously painful above the hoof? No, if no swelling or obvious pain is evident, move to step three. Yes, if swelling is evident, consider infections like foot rot. Also check for wire or similar materials wrapped around the leg or claw. Step three, can you see cracks on the external surface of the hoof wall of the lame leg? No, if both claws on the lame foot are free of abnormalities, move to step four. Yes, if vertical or horizontal cracks are evident, this is likely to be either axial wall cracks or sand cracks. Step four, restrain the cow in a suitable facility and secure the affected leg with a rope or strap. Thoroughly clean the external surface with a brush and water. Is there swelling, dead or damaged skin, and a bad smell between the toes? No, if between the toes is free of abnormalities, move to step five. Yes, this is likely to either be foot rot or a fibroma. Step five. Carefully pair or sand away the superficial outer surface of the sole and trim any overgrown wall horn. Sole horn may be very thin, so be careful not to reduce the weight bearing surface around the edge of the hoof more than necessary. Is there abnormal discoloration in the sole horn? Normal pigment in the sole horn is black. Don't confuse this pigment with discoloration. No, if there is no visible discoloration in the sole horn, move to step six. Yes. Is there a red or bleeding lesion on the sole at the sole horn junction? This is likely to be a sole ulcer. Are there red or purple smudges in the sole itself? This is likely to be a bruised sole. Does the discoloration look like red paint splashes, spots or lines in the sole horn? This can indicate laminitis. Are there black or dark lines or cracks in the sole? This can be sole penetration and or an underrun sole. Step six, is the white line separated and filled with mud and gravel, especially towards the heel area? No, if no apparent abnormality in the white line is detected, move to step seven. Yes, this indicates white line disease, separation of wall from sole. Now check for abscesses breaking out at the coronet. Step seven, use hoof testers over the sole to gently squeeze the sole against the wall, searching for sensitive areas which cause withdrawal or flinching. When the sole is pinched, does the cow flinch? No, this means you've detected no abnormality in the claw. Yes, the cow is withdrawing or flinching. There is a problem with this claw. Consider putting a block on the unaffected claw and consult your vet.